Hi, it's Neil Sean here on your entertainment news and with a singing legend. You miss it, you'll miss out. Don't miss Eden today on your entertainment news. You would have all been pitched as rivals back in the day, you know, because oh, yeah. you're kind of like, yeah. are you Marty? Are you Joe? Are you this? Are yeah. you that? You know, because uh, it was it was great publicity. But I guess at the time, did you were you were there any rivalries or was it all just for veneer? And now you must all just be laughing backstage with a cup of tea going, do you remember when we did... You know. Oh, that's exactly what we're doing. Yeah. We're, we're sort of going, oh, I think I need a cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> and you, then you, you talk about the old days and you have a good laugh. And, and now, you know, we see the funny side of everything yeah. because we are, we are together. We're friends and we've become, um, we've become you know, uh, buddies. Yeah. You're right. In the old days, it was you, you were on and off uh, type yeah. of thing, and, except, you know, in, in my uh, uh, situation anyway and I toured with uh, with Billy Fury and Helen Shapiro and then I worked with with I worked with everybody you know yeah. back in eventually after 1964 when I was lucky enough to have another hit I mean 61 62 63 61 62 the early hits um, were great but then I suddenly was going oh my god you know now what do I do type yeah. of thing and then the, then the groups came in and I thought oh well, yeah. that's my goose is cooked. And then, the, and, and then um, I saw the ad, an ad in the paper from a, for Cadbury's Chocolate. We're looking for uh, someone to ad, um, sing about drinking chocolate or something. Go, go around, and it's just it was a talent contest, and I was convinced someone told me to to enter it. Wow. I entered it, and it so happened that there was um, um, a couple of guys who were record producers in the audience there. And they and they they said you know we want to make a record with you, and so they got me out of Cadbury's. <laughs> like I was film, so though, isn't I it? became the Chocolate Time Troubadour. You know, oh, that's right. me, folks. <laughs> Ta -da! Uh, yeah, but I, after that, uh, briefly, and I was going going around annoying people, you know, singing, you know. I'm sure not. Really. No, I, believe me. And uh, and then and then they we made a record to you know made a record. Uh, actually, we made a record about chocolate, hot chocolate crazy, which I wrote. But that was that didn't do much. But then they came up with a, a great songwriter who had written a song for Adam, Fa uh, songs for Adam Faith, like yeah. "What Do You Want." Yeah. His name was Johnny Worth, fantastic writer. Oh yeah, yeah. And he came up with "Well, I Ask You." Went to number one. And the rest is history. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But 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 when you got the record deal and you know they said we want to make a record, <clears throat> I mean it is like a, a scene in a film. Yeah. You must have run home and thought, wow, you know this is oh, it. Oh no, it was you know? it was really strange, because I'd come on a bus. Okay. <laughs> the glamour of showbiz. Oh, it was glamorous. <laughs> and I had my little amp and my guitar. And so this, uh, who was the guy who was going to be my manager, his name was Philip, Philip Wani Um I still see him. I mean, he's still, Philip, we're, we're friends, we do lunch, we do lunch yeah, yeah, in yeah. LA. Yeah. Anyway, he's a great guy. So, and he said, and basically he said, you know, get on the bus and don't talk to anybody. I said, what, what, why? <laughs> what's going to yeah, happen? What's, yeah. well, now what? You know? And I gave him my mum's address. Um, we lived in a uh, place called Norbury, oh, near yeah. Croydon. Yeah. And basically, then they came around to the house and said, you know, we, we want to sign sign him to a contract and be, be his managers. And my mum's, like, in shock. And yeah. Said, oh, you know, really. And it's impressive, it though, isn't it, in those days to get, you know, a yeah. big record label to come to your house. It yeah. moves how much... They wanted you, really. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it, it's hard to imagine in this day and age because you had to get clearance from your parents. You couldn't. Oh, nowadays, yeah. I think you could just almost sign it yourself. You could do anything. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you, you know, know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. I mean. Um...